Sorry I'm late, Juanita, but they were shorthanded down the truck stop, so I helped out. Should have known better. Never expect you to be on time. You never have been in 20 years. Won't be at all surprised if you don't end up being late for your very own funeral. I said it wasn't my fault. Never is. Did you see anything of Jimmy Dean out there? No, well, he was heading over to Luke's Texaco last time I saw him. When are you going to finish up with them decorations, you I'm going to put my crap up and get right back to him. You better shake a leg, because if anybody's going to be showing up for that reunion, they're going to start into showing up any time now. I wouldn't hold my breath by as you. You want to get back yet? No, her bus is late. Goddamn, Juanita, you're not going to turn that Jesus music on again, I hope. Watch your mouth. I'm trying to get the weather news. I'll give you the weather news. It's 118 degrees in the shade. But there ain't none of. Same as it was yesterday and the day before and last week and last month. Now, there's talk that there's a rainstorm over near Odessa. Oh, bullshit. It ain't rained there in 20 years and ain't going to. It's raining like hell out there, ain't it? Watch your mouth, young lady. Oh, criminy won't eat. It's 1955, not 1905. Hell, everybody says hell nowadays. Well, you ain't gonna be saying it while you're working here. Is Sydney in yet? Hey, Sydney! Joe, bring up them new photo flight magazines. Hey, Sydney! Well, now, I haven't unpacked them yet. Why? You just, you know, I've been waiting for them. Well, now, there's something in there I think you're not going to want to see. So, what? What is it? Look, he's in love with Sydney. No, you're not. I don't believe you. It, it's that Italian girl, Perry Angelini, but she's already married. I'm all... Hi, sissy. Listen, I heard that you won yourself another, another one of them uh, trophies over at Dixie Roller. Yeah, yes, I, I, you know, I think I'm the best roller skater in all West Texas. <laughs> I think so. Well, you look like you've been rolled hard and put away wet. Oh, well, I need to stop her mouth now. Juanita well, Ware, Sydney, I want to talk to him about sponsoring me in the All-State Roller Skating Championship next month. Oh, the men's Bible club had them a late meeting over at the church last night. I, I didn't bother to wake him up this morning. The men's Bourbon Club. What was that? Juanita, well, you know what? You need to turn something on here to get life in this place. Hey, Mona Joe, come on out here, y'all. They're playing the songs of the senior talent contest, and I've been up all night long working yeah, on this. You look like that. I know I do. Well, I was at the graveyard yeah. party. All right, ready? Everybody in their positions and. Well, Edna, 
You got something in your oven, girl? I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, yes, it's my seven. Seven kids. Can you imagine anything more horrible? Oh, don't pay her no never mind. And the Louise, it is so wonderful to you see you. Hey, oh, hey, hey, look what I found up in my attic. What? Well, ain't it a Oh, hoop? my God, it's old club jacket. Can you believe we actually used to wear those goddamn things? I looked all over not. for mine, and I couldn't find it. I don't know where mine is. I, have, I cannot so believe it. Look at you. I, just, I can't believe you had seven children. Oh, my God. The rain has just about dried us up. Good Lord. Sissy, oh, look at this. Gosh, I Sissy, so God damn it. You look just fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> them booze ears. Christ, I'd kill for them booze. When you wouldn't. The ones I have. Hey, what about me? How'd I look to you, huh? Well, you look like a million bucks. A million and a half. My Merle brought itself in another one. That man can smell oh, that oil. Look, swear. everybody, a red gumball. That's my favorite color. My fortune in the newspaper said today was going to be one of my lucky days. And it is. <laughs> Hell, honey, your lucky day is gonna come when you get them tubes of yours tied up. Oh, don't pay her no, never mind. Come on, I gotta finish these decorations. You come and help me, okay? okay. Come oh, on. No. Where's Mona, anyway? She ain't back yet. Back, back from where? Martha. She went off to Martha this weekend to get together with all them others that's in that picture show with her. Her bus is nearly two hours late in arriving back, and I'm starting to get worried. Hey, I got me an idea. Since Mona ain't here yet, let's take us a ride on over to old Robert E. Lee High School. Oh, I sure as hell would like to show myself off to all them old teachers of mine. What do you say? Honey, they're all dead. Hell, there gotta be somebody left around out there after 20 years who'll remember who I was. McGuire sisters. Y'all got anything livelier than this? Liveliest place in town is a graveyard, Stella. Well, hell, Sissy, for you it always was. No, don't. Come on, what do you say? <laughs> no, you and Edna Louise go on. I'm trying to get this place to look like something. Come on, Edna. Christ, it is so damn hot in here. Now listen, now listen, don't say nothing to Mona about us being here, see, because I want to surprise her. God, this is going to be a hoot, goddamn hoot and a half. Come on, Edna. I won't have to change my dress. Later, you can do it later. I want to get on out there, see if I really miss this town or not. Hey, hey, see, listen, we'll stop on over to old Luigi's Taco Grotto, get ourselves a Dr. Pepper like we used to. Mona's going to be real pleased and surprised to see him again. You think anybody else going to be showing up for this thing? Well, her heart's dead set on them all showing up, but we're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. You heard the news. It's absolutely breathtaking. Hey, Y'all agreed. I could tell them. Tell us what, y'all, mate. Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson are going to be coming here. <laughs> Stop! Wait a minute. Here to McCarthy, Texas. Well, what? not exactly here, but over to Marfa. It's only 62 miles away from Rock Hudson. Wait, 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 no. Wait, what are they coming here for? They're coming to make a movie. You hush up, Edna Louise. I'm telling, not you. They're coming to make a picture show, and the radio said it's all about giants or something. A <laughs> monster <laughs> movie. She's not going to let me borrow that car. Well, tell her that you're going on over there to hunt for a better job. And she's never going to believe that one. She just lied to her, Joe. That's all you have to lie to her. Juanita, what do you think of these decorations? Real nice. Well, I have busted my butt all morning getting them strung up here, you know. All right, I'm going to Luke's, and I'll be right back. Now, what do you want? You want Miracle Whip and bologna and cheese and just... No, uh, bread. All right. Hey, Juanita, uh, her bus is pulling up now. Oh, 
After that darn fool, a bus broke down out there, broke down in the middle of nowhere. I said, it took them nearly forever to get it repaired. Well, you do look like something the cat may have dragged in. Don't thank you, Juanita. Here's an orange uh, brush. Why don't you go over there and sit down? Oh, are you as excited and nervous as I am? I could hardly contain myself that whole weekend long in Marfa just thinking about it. Twenty years ago tonight, my God, it just seems just like yesterday, don't it? When that fatal crash took away his life. Aha! Juanita. Do you think that it's possible that you could stop that slapping around for just five seconds? Thank you. What's that? What's that? Is this what I think it is? Oh, oh my oh. goodness <laughs> sake, look at this one. It's the old club jacket. Where on earth did you dig this up from? Well, Stella May brought it in. Stella she... May? Oh, my God. Goodness, I just let the cat right on out of the bag. Well, is Stella May here then? Stella May! My goodness sake, Stella May! Stella May! How many of the others come? Uh, Stella May. Uh -huh. Oh, and Edna Louise. Edna Louise come too. <laughs> Don't you let on like I told you, though, because they wanted to surprise you. Well, I promise one night yet. Yeah. Seems like I was really worried that they might not all remember. Oh. I just, I really should have sent them all them little tiny, I don't know, what do you call them, little card thing, little reminder cards, don't you think? Lord, how would you ever know where to find half of them? No, they just, they did scatter off every which way in another first chance that they got, didn't they? I remember the day that we took this picture, and I recall it just like it was yesterday. Stella May, she's sticking out her tongue, and she's making that awful silly face, I swear. She never could be serious. Sue Ellen had them curler things in her hair, and she tried to hide behind Martha. That was the very last time that the entire club was all together as one certainly hope that we will all be able to recognize each other. Wouldn't that be an awful thing? I'm sure that they will all remember. I don't... <clears throat> How could they possibly have forgotten such a devoted promise as that one was? Oh. Uh. <clears throat> you all right? Mm. It's my heart. This tends to skip a beat every now and then. That's all. It's all this dry air. It's just affecting my asthma. Something terrible. You know, I've been wheezing and struggling to keep a breath all day long. Well, set yourself down. I'll freshen up no, your orange. No, Juanita. No, no, no. I can't.
My throat is as parched as that poor ground out there. Oh, I, you know, if you think that it is hot here, my goodness sake, then you should have been in Marfa. That first day there, I thought, well, now, here it comes. My goodness sake, I'm gonna die for sure. Were the things just like you was hoping they'd be? No. No. There's hardly anything left to Riata anymore. Just six telephone poles that are sticking up out of the ground and nearly nothing more. Nobody knew what was there, and they would never know that it was that beautiful house from Giant. What used to be the front, Juanita? What used to be the front? It's lying all over the ground, rotting away in that terrible hot sun. <laughs> do you know what I did, though? You know what I managed to do? I managed to retrieve one last identifiable piece of that house. And it's one of them pieces that I'm pretty sure must have been up there along the top of that porch roof. I really had to dig among the piles of destruction to come up with one that had even that, oh, slightest hint of recognition. Look here. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Some of those you've got in the past years are better. really is a sin, the way the citizens of Marfa have let that monument fall into ruin like that. There's only the front, of course. That's the way that they do things in the movies. Deceiving to the eye, they call it. It will be so embarrassing, won't it, to have the disciples come back to see how this town has dried up so? Are you notice now riding in on that bus? This looks like a regular ghost town. Hard to believe how everything has changed so quickly in 20 years. Sure hadn't changed much in here, though. I'm sure they'll all remember what it was like in here, in the five and dime. She just told me about Joe. Why? Why did Sidney have to part? Yeah, Sidney has done what he believes is best for that boy, as well as for the rest of us. And you will understand better as you get older. But I, I don't... What did he do that was so wrong? He never bothered nobody. He just stocked the shelves and mopped the floors like he was paid to. It's nothing to do with his work. It's what he is. And things will be better off without him around. Now, Sydney has done the right thing. I didn't, but we, we're friends, you know. Well, he should have friends who are boys, not you and Sissy. It's just shameful the way the three of you dressed up as lookalikes, pretended you was that singing act. What's your names? It was the McGuire sisters. It was the McGuire sisters, and I, that was just for the senior talent show. That's all. I think it was just for fun. It was just for fun. Well, it didn't turn out that way. I mean, everybody who saw it was just shocked and disgusted. First, that disgusting thing at the talent show, and then that incident at the final school dance with Lester T. Callahan that has erupted into a regular scandal. Oh, he is a sick boy and should be treated before he grows up into a communist. No, Juanita, he did You are wrong. You are all wrong. I, he's just different, that's all. And I, it's not his fault, it's theirs. Sidney knows what is best. No, he does not know. Sidney and me are good, upstanding, Bible-believing Christians. And we have searched our Bible from cover to cover to find an excuse for his behavior. And there is none. In the eyes of God, he does not belong. And God is wrong. God made him, didn't he? If God doesn't accept him, then I just, I don't accept God then. Now, you listen here, young lady. I will not permit you to speak of our Lord in that way. And I will not stay here and listen to him. He's not my God. 
I don't want him. I just, I hate him, and I hate Signy too. Hey, Juanita. Oh, hey, <laughs> would you come on help me with this door, please? I'm about to drop these damn things. Here, which take one? this, take this one right here. Ow. Are you okay? My God, it's hotter than. I don't know what out there. Hey, kid, I see you made it back on one piece. I did. You're not going to believe what I found in today's Odessa American. News of a rainstorm no, coming? What hell is no, no, no. The escapades. The escapades is coming to the Exeter County Coliseum for four whole days, Mo. You know that? And that ain't on here. Look at this. Right. They are going to be holding tryouts for new skaters to take up with them. My God, you know what? When I read that, my heart skipped four beats. This is a chance of a lifetime for me. To do what? What do you mean to do what? To, uh, to ice skate, that's what. What, you? Why well, ain't talking about my Aunt Sally. Well, the only kind of skating you know how to do is roller skating. And you ain't done none of that since the Dixie Roller Rink closed nearly 10 years ago. You think that skating's something you can forget that easy? So see, you, do, you have never skated on the ice before in your life. Well, so what? I mean, skating, skating. I don't care if you do it on rollers or ice or water, for Christ's sake. Just a matter of balance and form, and God knows that my form is well balanced. Well, um, don't you think that it's just a little late into life to put? <laughs> I'm sorry. To try something like that, that's all I meant. Well, it might be late for you, Mo, but I'm just beginning. You know, the way you two's talking, you'd think I was ready for a wheelchair or something. You'd be less apt to break your neck wheeling on ice than skating on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You're just going to be laughing out of the other side of your little old ha <laughs> ha Mo, what do you think of my dress? It's a cat's ass, ain't it? <laughs> Too short and mind your language. I ain't talking to you here. Sissy. What? Girl, what are you doing? You know what it reminds me of? No. It, well, it just it reminds me of one of them uh, roller skating outfits that you used to wear. Hey, Mom. Mo, you remember how they used to um, scream and yell when I'd skate out on the floor? Gliding and twirling around the rope. What was that that they used to call me? Joe? Joe? Joe. I uh, used to call you Swanya Henny, the breastiest bird on the uh, eight, eight wheels. wheels. <laughs> uh, what made you think about Joe? I ain't thought of him in a million years. I don't know. I don't know. I, he just sort of popped into mind, that's all. I just, I've been doing a lot of thinking back there in Marfa at Riata, and he's still upstairs in my head, I guess. That's what. <laughs> well, God, the three of us had ourselves one hell of a time, didn't we? <laughs> My God, Joe Qualley was a ride. <laughs> he was a ride. I suppose I'm going to get to make the sandwiches all by myself. I cannot believe that you're home from college. It's like, it's like I'm dreaming, Mo. <laughs> you know what? Well, Joe and me was going to get Stella May to take your place in the McGuire sisters, but she would have never been as good as you. To see, you know what? I just, I don't think that we should do that act anymore because of all that's happened. No, Juanita says it was oh. because of that thing at the senior dance with Lester T. Callahan. That's how all our trouble got started. What? You know, everybody really believed that Joe was my cousin from Oklahoma City, especially Lester T. I know. I, Joe does make a very pretty girl all dressed up, don't he? Yes, Lester T sure thought so. You know what? I would have given anything to see um, the expression on Lester T's face when he got Joe in the back seat of his car and he reached in his dress and he squeezed them balloons and that strawberry jello exploded all over his white cup. <laughs> I just. Joe should never have carried the joke so far. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's all. So you think Lester T will try and get even like he said? Well, I wouldn't put it past that goon head. I was so afraid for this summer to be over, and now it can be summer forever, can it? Oh, I hope not, Mo. Jesus, you know. This heat is so hot, I think it's shrinking my bazooms. You what? My bazooms, that's what the boys call No, they don't. Now, do they look like they've shrunk into you? I don't know. Let me see. No, Lord, no. They just, they both look exactly the same to me. Mo, do you think that they could, um, be as big as Marilyn Monroe's? Yeah, I do. I'm think I think they might be bigger than <laughs> No, I do. I said that. Yeah. You know, Sidney said that he thought that they were, but you know him. Ooh, Sidney told you that? Yeah, small. Let me tell you something. He's a card. You know, he's always pinching my butt behind the counter. Not when Juanita can see him, of course. She does have the wool pulled over her ass, don't he? Don't he, no. Mona. What? Are you just busting for that movie to come out? You are going to be up there on the movie screen with James Dean. I mean, on the movie screen. We're going to the drive-in, and you're going to be there with James Dean. I can't believe it. God, he just sends shivers up and down my insides. He could just drag me off to the graveyard in and out he wants to. Sissy? Yes? Uh, did you ever dream what it would be like, you know, to make love to somebody real famous like him? 
all the time. <laughs> but, you know, you really should um, experiment with some nobody first before you tackle someone as important as he is. That's all I'm doing. It's kind of like, um, well, it's kind of like homework for the big test later. Sissy? Yeah? I, did, I feel something so deep inside me about James Dean that I just, I am not able to get words to come out about it. You mean love? No, I don't. It's something more than love. Oh, there ain't nothing more than love, Mona. Love is the end. No, Sissy, you are wrong. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm not. you are. I, there is something beyond the end. You know what I'm going to do? No, and I'm afraid to ask. No. As soon as I can save up the money, I'm going to buy Rihanna. And then you and me and Joe can go and live there forever and ever. Uh, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Mona, it is just a front. I mean, it's not a real house. It's just a fake front. No, it is real. It's just deceiving to the eye, that's all. It is real. What's real? What? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> Are you going to freshen yourself up or ain't you? Because it's getting awful late. Yes, ma'am, I am. I am. I am. I'll just be a minute, okay? Oh, Lord, that's heavy. So. Hey, you're not really serious about all this ice potato business, are you? Hell if I ain't. Well, you'd just be making a fool out of yourself, and you know it. Well, it's my life to fool around with, ain't it? Well, you do entirely too much fooling around. I'm gonna ask my Wednesday night prayer club to devote their next few sessions to you. Well, you know, you might as well pray for them poor people over in China, because they needed a hell of a lot more than I do. We stopped praying for them. It didn't seem to be doing much good. We're now praying for rain. You know what I did? What? I said, you know what I did? I did. I turned on both them faucets back there, and you, nothing comes out. It's not a drop of water. Well, it's finally happened. Nothing's happened. Did you turn them all the way? Oh, please, Juanita. Yes, as far as they would go. Well, well you, can't you can't turn, turn them, them no, no further, further than, than that. that. You know what I think? I think it must be 110 degrees out there today. Thank God the Oscar Page is coming to rescue my ass right in the nick of time. Oh, garbage mouth. Just wonder where on earth is Jimmy Dean. Well, he ran off right after lunch, and I ain't seen hiding nor hair of him since. I'm just, I'm hoping nothing's happened to him. Well, he's working. He's working. What do you mean he's working? Where? <laughs> well, he got himself a job down at the Texaco, um, patching holes in inner tubes. Doing what? He is patching holes in inner tubes, and Luke is giving him 50 cents a hole. Oh. That's well. I think you know, Luke is just taking advantage of that boy's mental deficiency. I just, I don't, no, I don't like that. I don't like no, that one bit. No, he's having the time of his life. Just leave him alone. Luke is just trying to make a laughing stock of him in front of this whole entire town. Nobody's laughing. They do, too. You know, they laugh all the time, but they just do it to themselves. No, you just think they do. That's I don't all. think anything. I know they do because they are jealous. Jealous because I was the one chosen to bring the son of James Dean into this world. Jimmy Dane! Jimmy Dane, you out there, boy? Oh, for I Christ's see, sake, Mona. Mean, you know, he is old enough to have himself this little... none of jo your business. You've gotten all excited you over just, nothing. You know, you sound like all the rest of them out there, all those warped and demented people who just think that they know so much more than all those doctors that I have spent every penny that I have earned working in this dime store to take him to. He is retarded in the brain. You know, it's none of my business, but it is just as warped and demented for you to keep him cooped up inside here all day so people won't be laughing at you. Not him, Mona, you. Now, sissy, you stay out oh, of shit. it. Oh, shit. Now, Jimmy Dean is her son, not yours. Well, I thought he belonged to James Dean fans everywhere. Conceived in Mona and uh, dedicated to the population. He chose me from everybody else to bring his child into this world. Well, three cheers for Mona Magdalene. 
but I tell you, you know what? I tell you, you, you are a vile and wicked person. Wait a minute. 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 Wait a it is the same sort of remarks that they have been making behind my back ever since I discovered the truth about him. I just, I wonder, are you able to hear me in there? You have turned out to be just as warped and demented as they are. And you were born and raised in this town too, miss. Yes, that, yes. But I, did, I managed to rise above the attitudes of this town while you laid spread over a gravestone and took them inside you. Mona! Where are you going? I'm going outside to cool off. Ain't that a laugh? Mona. Shh. Listen. Slowly passing train is so romantic. Mona, you shouldn't have said that. Did you just see him out there? Who? Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean? Yes. You know, Juanita, he is all that I have left to remind me. It's the heat. Play tricks with your emotions if you ain't careful. Yes, ma'am, I could. <laughs> You're right, I could do that indeed. <laughs> oh. There he is. No, I don't see anybody. A boy. I thought that I saw reflected in the mirror. He was there, and then he just disappeared. It's probably just Jimmy Dean waiting for you to turn your back so he can sneak in here, pretend he was here the whole entire time. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It wasn't Jimmy Dean. At, at all. It just, it looked like the, uh... One of the Ferguson boys? Roy or Bill? No. Oh, my God. Uh, Juanita, come, put it over here real quick. Come now, what's the matter? Somebody's arrived in one of them little yellow sports oh. cars. You see, he's parked way uh -huh. down the street there. You see? Yeah. Well, can you see who it is? No, can't tell. Can't tell. Uh, I can't, it's a lady, though. Uh, yeah, look and she's that. looking over here at the store. Oh. You I don't seem to recognize her. Uh-uh. I don't neither recognize her. But, she, oh, is she coming this way? Oh! You think it could be one of them disciples? Lord, girl, I hope not. My goodness sake, I haven't had time to change my clothes or even prepare Jimmy Dean for presentation. Hello. Hello. Is there anything I can help you to find? I'd just like to browse, if I may. Browse all you want? We don't get many browsers anymore. People just grab up what they need and then they leave. We just, we have become a very hurried society, I'm afraid. Too many Woolworths like this one around anymore. There are a few of us left, still hanging on. Are you just passing through? You might say. Oh, sure is some funny looking car you're driving. Uh, that's a sports car. It's a little sports car she got parked out there, Juanita. I know, I know. Funny looking to me. I don't know how you can squeeze yourself all up inside it. Must make you feel like a sardine in a can. <laughs> I used to be a fan of his, too. Not anymore. He died, didn't you know? Yes, ma'am. Of course I won't <sighs> knew that. But he lives on in his movies. 
Did you see Giant? Yeah. It was filmed not far from here in Marfa. Uh -huh. I don't mean to sound boastful, but I was in that film. <laughs> I was only in the crowd scenes, but then my face does appear very distinctly in one segment. Must have been very exciting for you. It was. It was the most exciting time of my whole entire life. Your voice, it just sounds very familiar. Lots of people have said that it's unusual. I've heard it all my life, so it sounds perfectly normal to me. Yes, I'm sure that it would. <laughs> Are you the mother of his son? Oh, my goodness sake, yes. How on earth did you know that? I saw one of your signs down the highway. Huh. See the son of James Dean visit Woolworths, five and dime. We just, you know what? We never bothered to take them signs down because the words, then they become so faded from the sign you couldn't read them anyway. You just must have unusual eyesight. <laughs> May I have a glass of water? We seem to be temporarily out of water. Would you settle for an orange crush instead? As long as it's cold and wet. When Jimmy Dean was first born, yet nearly 3,000 people swarmed into town over a one week period of time just to see the son of James Dean. He really helped put McCarthy, Texas, on the roadmap for a brief but glorious period of time. We were the busiest and we were the most prosperous. Five and dime in all of Texas. They gave us a plaque. Mm -hmm. It's over there in back of the cash register. That boy was a boon to us. Juanita, that's Juanita there behind the counter. Her husband, Sidney, was manager at the time. He's, t he's passed away since then. And those signs were his idea? Uh-huh. Yes, I, he just, he had everything just worked out just perfectly. There were newspaper people here, and there were um, magazine people, and they were taking my picture, and they'd just, they'd write down everything that I would say. That I, I was quite the celebrity, and as I said, <laughs> people bought up everything that they could get their hands on, just thinking that little Jimmy Dean had touched it. He was on display right over here. We built this nice little platform, and we just would put him on display right here. Sydney had to hire two policemen just to protect him from possible molesters and kidnappers. They even elected Sydney the mayor after that. And then the um, swarms went away. Prosperity, unfortunately, it's a fleeting thing. But there is talk of rebuilding in time as soon as the drought passes. Time is such a nebulous date to wait for. And patience, they say, is a virtue, so I hope. Well. There is something so distinctly familiar about you that I just, I can't put my finger on it. I, do you notice that one needed to wait? No, I, I never saw her before that I can recall. I just, I must be experiencing, what do they, Juanita, what do they call that thing, you know, where you think you've been somewhere before, but you haven't. Deja vu. Deja vu. Yes, ma'am. Juanita, you suppose... You suppose that water pressure has risen up enough by now I could use it? There he is again. I don't see anybody. He, did, he was hurt and bleeding, and then it looked like he wanted to come in, but he wasn't able to. Are you sure it's not just Jimmy Dean? Why do you say something like that to me? Why do you say that? Jimmy Dean hurt and bleeding. I don't... Jimmy Dean, you out there, boy? I see you answer me. You hear me? If you can hear me, you answer. He don't answer. 
for Juanita. I just hope to God nothing's happened to him. Lord, I want to talk to you. Well, I just, I don't feel like I want to talk well, to you. Well, I don't give a good goddamn if you want to talk to me or not. You've you been don't... drinking, haven't you? Drinking what? Alcohol. I can smell it on your breath. Well, <laughs> there ain't no water. I had to drink me something to hey, die of thirst. Sissy, not... sissy, oh! is Mona back yet? Mm, yes, but she is a bitch on wheels. Jelly May, you don't want to talk to her. <laughs> She out of her goddamn mind. Five minutes ago, she just tried to kill me. No, no, she's just covering up because I let the cat out of the bag. Okay, what cat out of what bag? Well, Stella May and Anna Louise came in, and they wanted to surprise her. Seven. 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 Come a little. Stella May? Hey, Stella, do you find anything out there worth remembering, girl? No, honey, ain't nothing left out there, period. That's the truth. Much less anything worth remembering. Why the hell y'all sticking around this town for anyhow? So. And a little way. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, look at you. I know. You are. What? You just look. <laughs> well, so did anybody else show up yet? Oh, shit. Don't tell me. Let me guess. No, Stella, my no, don't, 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 don't tell me. Let me, let me, let me guess. Wait a minute. See. It's Phyllis Marie Tucker. I'll be damned. Oh, Lord. No, I it's not. Marie Tucker died. She, just, she choked to death and a piece of meat at the state for Yes, she did. Right in L front of the whole me... family. <sighs> Wait a minute. Where, where, where is that club uh, picture, oh, Mona? Is she? Holy shit. Oh, is she oh done my God. I mean... Tell me that's not me. Would you get a look at the outfit I'm wearing? Oh, oh Lord. If any of the girls at the country the club got their paws on this, I'd be so blackballed. Long, it smells like <gasps> mothballs. So I send it to the dry cleaners. And the Louise. Quit belly aching about the way you look. She's been harping about that damn dress all the damn day. Go put it on and shut up. As if it would make any difference. The bathroom's right where it always was, Ed and Louise. I won't take long, I promise. I just love to try and guess at people from old photographs. Now, let's see here. That is me. And this here is Edna, dum da dum dum God, she looks as dumb then as she is now. Uh, that's Sissy with those beautiful goddamn tits. This is Mona. And who is this? Look at that hair. I can't... Hey, um... Uh... Hey, Mona? Is that fancy yellow sports car parked down the street one of those purchases you made with all that money you raked in off of Jimmy Dean? No, I didn't. It's gotta be yours, then. Yeah. You look like you done pretty well for yourself. As well as might be expected. Uh-huh. Now, uh, you sure you in this picture? I'm truly concerned about that boy. I just hate to have him wandering around out there and me not knowing where he is sometimes. Lord. Sissy? Sissy? What? I said, did you see Jimmy Dean out there? No, I just went well, down Well, I just, way. I'm wondering where is he then? Just couldn't have disappeared. You think that's what happened? Maybe he just disappeared into thin air. You think, do you think maybe that's what happened? What did I tell you? Something happened to him one day and I knew it. I... Susie? Susie? What? I can't, I'm not able to breathe. Well, you know, just come Help. here and sit down. Be quiet and just sit down here. All right, just get her, water. get her some ice water. She's gonna water. faint. There ain't no water, still, May. All right, here, just calm get her a glass of whiskey down. then. There is no alcohol in this store, and there never will be. Well, what about the bottle that Sydney used to keep hidden behind the counter? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I think it was right about um, right. It's down here. Well, Sydney did not drink. But how did he die from it? Who in the hell are you? He died of a heart attack. He died of a decayed liver. Wait just a goddamn minute now, all right? He was eaten up by alcohol. You just, you can't talk to her like that. Sidney was a saint, and he is in heaven now with God. The only time Sidney was ever in heaven, Juanita, is when he had a bottle in his hand. Lies, all lies. Christ, I named everybody in the picture who it could be. In fact, it was in this corner I'd find him, collapsed, hiding from you, Juanita. And God. Every Wednesday night.
when I came to mop up these floors again. I know. I think... Joe who? Joe, why did you have to come back here? I had as much right to return to this reunion as anybody. Didn't I? Hell, Joe, you look better than I do, for Christ's sake. None of the girls in this picture were named Josephine. Look at me there. What? Joe! Yo, shit dang. You look just like a real girl, boy. I knew that there was something familiar about you. Well, Joe, take off your wig and crap so we can see how you turn out. Shit. I didn't drive all the way here from Dallas just to play who's a girl and who ain't. Oh, yeah. Do you remember how we used to do the McGuire sisters? Oh, come on, Mo. Well, come on, let's just do the McGuire sisters. Uh, sincerely. Come on. All right? Sincerely. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Those awful things you said about my Sydney were lies. And I want you to tell everybody they were lies. Sydney is dead, Joe, so let's just forget it, huh? Gee, Juanita. I thought this night was dedicated to remembering those days and made us all what we are today. Joe. Oh, Joe, how many of them were there? I'm gonna get some iodine for your face. Less than two and three or four of those assholes who always hang around together, but the whole town was there. I saw images of them in my mind lined up along that graveyard fence. Sidney was a good man. He, he was, was a, a rotten son of a bitch, standing there off to the side, watching it through that graveyard fence. Yelling and cheering and screaming like a bunch of Mexicans at a cockfight. I saw faces. I know who they were. Lester T was just doing the job this whole damn town has been wanting to do to me for years. No, Joe, don't say that. It's not true. Sidney was in Waco that day. He wasn't even around. He was there. Jeez, I wish I had something to drink around here. Yeah, come on, y'all. Let's get on with this party. You know, it's hotter than hell, and I need me a cold beer. Where do you have beer? Uh, Luke is keeping a case cold for me in his cooler, won't he? Well, you ain't bringing beer in here. Could you just um, turn off God for the night and have yourself a good time? <laughs> well, I won't have a good time as long as he is in here. She. Oh, you are not a she. You're only pretending to be one, just like you always did. Look. Oh. Oh my lord. Come what on, Juanita. What did he do? Take a look at them. Hmm. One. There's no strawberry jello in those boobs anymore. Don't stop it. I, stop it. I thought it was funny back then. It's not funny anymore. Oh, hell, Mona, you just pulled her leg, ain't you, Joe? I'm not Joe, sissy. I'm Joanne. What do you mean? Joanne. I mean that, unlike, apparently, all of you, I have undergone a change.
you mean that all of this is for real? Holy shit. No, please. I just, I don't believe it. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I swear, my God. That's disgusting. Good God, I, the wonders of modern science. It's amazing. That's really a disgusting thing to do. I cannot believe this. You're kidding. <laughs> Holy shit, I've seen things like you on the TV before, but I never saw one at real close. <laughs> You're just one of them perverts, that's what you are. Well, that's what you always thought I was, Juanita. Tom sure does play crazy tricks on you. I just... Well, Joe, how long have you been this way? Thirteen years come January. My mama died. And uh, she left a bundle of insurance money, and with it, I became what she really wanted all along. Ironic, don't you think? It just makes me sick to my stomach, this one. You know what? You know what? Uh, I seen me a morphodat in a traveling carnival once. And uh, they said it was a, a half man, half woman. Is that what you are? In case anybody I know should ever ask. <laughs> Just tell them I'm a freak. All your friends should know what that is. Come on, y'all. Let's go on over to Luke and get ourselves a drink. Hey, Joe, what, take us over in that fence and sports call yours. You got it. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Luke is just going to pee his drawers when we pull up in that yellow thing. I swear. It's amazing, ain't it? What they can do with those trans plans, this reunion is going to be a hell of a lot more fun than I Go away with me, Mona. I, I can't take any more crap from this town. I, did, I can't leave. I just got back. I, the climate here is perfect for my asthma. The doctor said so. I, just, I might die if I ever have to leave again. You're going to go away with me, and we're going to be happy, just the two of us. It'll be just like it was in Martha forever. I can't leave. I, do, I need to stay here. I think you just... You don't have to go. Things will change. One day you'll see. This town is never going to change, and you know it. For all of my life, I've tried to be like them. And I can't. We can make them change. James Dean has shown us how. They won't listen. Nobody wanted to listen to James Dean in East of Eden either, but he didn't run away and hide. He is James Dean, and I'm only Joseph Qualley. Do you know something? You could be just like James Dean. Do you know that? You really could. Do you think that you could ever love me? If you love him? Love you? I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I promised to love James Dean until the day that I die. He's just a movie star. You can't. No, he's not. He's more than a movie star. He did. Mona. Mona, if you'd believe in me, well, maybe I could believe in myself, too. Joe, I just don't know. Well, maybe they're right. Maybe I should have been born a girl all along. It says right here in Romans, right here. Where is everybody? 
Oh, thank heavens. I thought everyone really just left town and forgot about me off there in the bathroom changing. But I figured if I stayed here long enough, someone would remember and come back. Edna Louise, my, don't you look nice, though. Oh, thank you. It must have shrunk, though, since the last time I got to wear it. The dry cleaners do that, though, sometimes I heard. Do I look all right otherwise? You know what? You look just like a whole new person. So, how do you feel? Oh, a little funny, I must admit. It isn't very comfortable, and it's a little tight, but I guess that's because I'm not used to dressing up fancy the way Stella does all the time. My goodness, if I don't sit down, I know I'm going to fall off these stilts I'm wearing and break my neck. <laughs> That other dress is the one I wear to the beauty parlor every day to work in. I wear it all the time. It's so old and comfortable. Well, yes, it is. I feel so much more relaxed and at ease in it than this. I wish you... You glowed, you know. You, um, you glowed brighter than anybody in the place. Glowed? Did I really? Yes. Nobody ever told me I glowed before. I think I will change then, since nobody really minds. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Don't go away again. You are dead wrong about Sydney. He was very upset about what he had to do, and it hurt him. Right up till the day I'll have some of that bourbon now. I, uh, I am very curious about this thing you had done. Now, what a, what do they do? Is is it just? Plastic parts they glue all over you, or what? It's a um, psychological process. You undergo a series of operations, of changes that I don't think you're going to understand, Stella. Whoa! What happened to that fancy party dress you broke all the way out here? Oh my goodness, I'm spending so much time. Changing and rechanging. I'm missing the whole party. Well, I propose a toast. Everybody got drinks. Mm. Yeah, you got one. Okay, got you're it. taking care of. All right, a glass one of beer. glass of beer coming right over. Oh, now a little pick me up. Help refresh your memory. Orange crush, do me this time. Thank you very much. Joe, did it hurt your operation? Oh, um, not until years later. I had a delayed reaction. You mean you regret it? Only when I think about it. Well, what'd they do with your... <laughs> yeah. I mean, could you... Put you... Have sex. Yeah. I can. And? Have. On occasion. Me too. Every occasion I can. <laughs> God damn. Well, everybody ready for the toast? Hell yeah. I want a drink. All right. To James Dean. 
Long live the dead. Long, Long live, live the, the dead. dead. Long live the dead. That's a good one, ain't it? Sissy, I think you always began by leading the ritual song. And the rest of us, we just followed the bouncing boobs. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Uh, do you want to um, leave my boobs out of this? Hell, that's impossible. <laughs> Is everybody ready? All right. Ready, one and two. The eyes of James and are upon us. All the live long day. Just tell them I don't do that. I ask you, how many times have I said, please don't bust down? Okay, Mona. Edna Louise, let's start with you while she reads so minutes serious. of the last meeting, please. I have to announce, a little embarrassed, that the minutes of the last meeting were accidentally eaten up by my dog, Rosie. But I think I can remember most of what happened in my head, if you would like me to speak it. You said you had every one. Every one but the last one. Well, we will dispense with the reading of the minutes due to not having them. But I have them up here. Too bad Rosie didn't eat your head and things. <laughs> Stella, my aid, uh, do you think you could get yourself serious for five seconds and quit picking on Anna Louise? I'm not serious. She's just so damn dumb. Did you give the treasures report? Yes, Stand I will. Up. Well, we had, um... $47.13, but we um, spent it all to buy the beautiful emblems for our club jackets, and so, well, now we are broke. Pictures for the collection. Does anybody have any pictures that we don't already have to hang up on the wall? How many more pictures do you think you can get up on that wall? <laughs> I saw one of them sitting on a motorcycle from Rebel Without a Cause. Well, where is it? Rosie ain't it. <laughs> Come on, Stella, get serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pictures! Almost forgot. Where, where's my, where's my purse? Where, you girls are just gonna love this. Now don't get your fingers all over it, cause this thing cost me an arm and a leg on the black market. Girls, it's gonna pop your eyeballs right well, out. We're all gonna be too old to appreciate it if you don't hurry up and show us. Are you ready? Yes. Ta da! The real James Dean stands up. Oh, my God, would you look at the size of that thing. Gee, what are we talking here, Stella? Oh, my All day, That's <laughs> disgusting. You didn't think so at one time, Mona. Uh, that's not a picture of him. I know he never let anybody take a picture of him. It sure as hell ain't my Aunt Sally here. Uh, is that a tree branch in his hand or what? <laughs> <laughs> you're the one with six kids, darling. This is the truth we are talking about. <laughs> you know, hey, no wonder you're holding on to his Mary with a monument like that. I'm holding on from that end. Oh, you? <laughs> picture of James Dean. Oh, Mona, are you sure? Yes. You know, it was very dark that well, night. You could be mistaken. Joke. Why don't you look more closely? You know, Mona, if you don't want that picture, I have this beautiful frame and... Oh, shit. Mona! For Christ's sake, that thing cost me over 50 bucks. Yeah, I thought it was a perfect likeness myself. How would you know? In those days, you had trouble identifying faces with your nose so close to the gravestone. Mona? Why don't you tell us all about Marfa and being in a movie with him? Well, yes, Mona. Why don't you tell us the story of being chosen the Virgin Mona of the Texas Testament? <laughs> hey, come on, Mona. Come on, Mona, tell us. Oh, I'm not gonna tell you. I thought you've all heard that story. You heard it 100 times before. Oh, come on, really. Oh, you just want to be big, that's all. <laughs> Come on, we really want to hear it. All right. I will. <laughs> all right. Well, you just, you all remember how everybody in town was just buzzing when it was announced over the radio that they were looking for people to be in it? I wanted to be in it, but my mother wouldn't let me. She said movie people are sinful. It was like a regular parade. People from all over these parts headed for Marfa bumper to bumper to be in that movie. 
Joe borrowed his mama's. That's all right, Mona. I was a his then. Joe borrowed his mom's Buick, and right after work, we drove off into the sunset, laughing and giggling and pretending like it was the end of a movie. It hadn't even begun. That was the funny part. We were playing the ending, and the beginning was yet to come. I pretended that I was naturally Wood. <laughs> I did. Yes, I did. And Joe, Joe was... I was James Dean, pretending I wasn't Joseph Qualley. There were nearly 4,000 people in that small town when we got there, and there were not nearly enough hotel rooms to accommodate everybody. So Joe and I had to sleep uh, in the back of the Buick along the side of the road. Next morning, after the, I finished washing up in the sink of the gas station across the road, nearly rubbing my skin off with Baraxo and paper towels, I was sitting in the back of the Buick pouring this uh, what, lilac perfume all over myself to get rid of the stink of the barack. So when I just uh, saw him walking down the road right toward me. Oh, God, I need a cold beer for I faint. Stopped right next to the car, and he just was looking in his pockets for something, and there was a cigarette dangling from the corner of his mouth. And so I just I took a chance that a match is what he was hunting for. And I just, I leaned out and I said, I said, uh, I, did, I got a match if that's what you're needing. <laughs> and he sort of smiled. And he came over to where I was leaning out the car window. And he took the matches from my hand. Mm -hmm. And he said, thank you, ma'am. Just like he had been living in Texas all of his life. I had those matches for the longest time afterward. I used to sleep with them, wrapped up in a lace handkerchief underneath my pillow for years after. Well, now, I'll tell you, I found a cigarette by, by the back wheel of the Buick, and it was a Chesterfield. It's the same kind that he smokes. Shh. I wish you to hush up, Joe, so I can tell him what happened next. Well, I was there, too, you know, in case you forgot. I remember everything. It was at that very moment that I knew that something was going to happen to change my whole entire life. It was a um, premonition, you know, like I always get. And when he'd lit his cigarette and I looked up into those deep set, shy blue eyes, I could see myself as clear as looking into a mirror. Later on, later on, at the place that, where they were picking people to be in that movie, when they picked me, me, out of all of those thousands of others I knew for certain. Well, they said that I didn't look Texas enough. Well, just what in the hell is Texas supposed to look like anyhow? They were looking for types. You just, you just weren't the right type, that's all. Well, you know, uh, I look for you every time I see that movie on the TV. Mm. I never see you. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's just that <clears throat> I th Elizabeth Taylor's head keeps getting in the way. But I'm there, mostly behind her left ear. And the scene where she first arrives from her papa's plantation in Kentucky. Recall that? And they have that big barbecue picnic. She gets hot, she gets real hot, and then she starts to faint, grabbing onto the branch of a mesquite tree for support. Well, right as the projector comes in real close to her, at that particular point, you are able to see me peeking out from behind her left ear. I just, I felt like such a celebrity. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe it was the way everybody fussed over me so. And then all those people sitting around watching in bleachers. Just like at a football game. My whole life was starting to change. I just, I could feel it deep down inside me. Mona, you sound like you was the only one. 
Why, there were so many people down there, I had trouble finding you. That night, as I laid there in the back of the Buick, I kept thinking about how I had been chosen above all of those thousands of others, staring out the window at those millions of stars and the outline of that very beautiful house way off there in the distance. And suddenly, as I'm looking, I see that one of those stars explodes and it burst away from all the thousands of others and it fell from the sky, landing behind the front of the house, behind the front of Riyadh. Mona, are you going to tell? Mona, are you going to tell? Are you really going to tell? Are you really going to tell? I pulled my blanket <clears throat> around my shoulders and I started to walk to where the star had fallen to earth. And when I got up to the front gate, there was nobody there. There was nobody, no guards, no nothing. And so I walked that long walk down the road to the house. It was so quiet. I was so still. And the only sound was from a faraway train. And it's blown its whistle and chugging off into the night. I got up to the front steps, and this voice, this is coming out of nowhere. It says to me, isn't it a little late to be calling on your neighbors? And I just froze stiff as a post, because it was him. I knew that. I knew that the minute that I heard his voice. And then he said, don't just stand there being unfriendly. Uh, why don't you come on up and set a spell? And as I moved up the steps, then I reminded him that I was the one who had given him matches that morning. And we spent the whole entire night together until the sun crept up over the edge of the earth, turning that sky into it was the brightest Red, you ever saw? Oh. We walked together to the gate, and he kissed me for the 13th time. I had counted them so that I would remember every single one. And then he thanked me again for passing away the night with him, and we both walked away in separate directions. Halfway back to the Buick, I just burst out running because I just, I couldn't wait to tell Joe of my memorable night. Gee, Mona, that's not the way it happened at all, is it? Next morning, you know what? <laughs> Next morning, we had to leave real early because Joe had to have his mom's Buick back. You recall that, don't you, Mr. Mm -hmm. From that night, a son was born. Did you hear that? Hear what, one lady? Thunder. It sounded like thunder. I think I heard it, too. Praise God, he hasn't forgotten us. It's just Stella May's stomach. <laughs> Give me a beer. It's coming closer. Do you hear? Well, maybe it'll rain. <laughs> mm. I hope not. Do they have the car wide? Oh, my God, Mona. Maybe they can stop him before he hurts himself. I'll do that. Uh. God, I don't know. I don't know. Earth, though, you get that car started, Juanita. Well, you'd be surprised what that boy can do, Mona. He must have learned how to drive working over uh, Luke's Texaco. Just Texaco. go off in my Porsche. License Porsche. P-O-R-S-C-H-E. 19. I don't know the color of his hair. Look, it's obviously it's not a set. What did you mean by that mysterious remark? A yellow Porsche license plate MX309. We'd like it brought home. I hate that song, Stella May. Juanita, relax. <laughs>
received a special news bulletin from the UPI wire service. Hey, y'all listen to this. One of Hollywood's brightest young stars was killed early this evening along California State Highway 466. The head-on collision took the life of James Dean. The 24-year-old movie star, James Byron Dean, had left to stardom in the no. east of Eden, which was released only five months ago. But already no. he was idolized by it's not James Dean. I say that it's not James Dean. Moon, I feel so funny like it was the um, end of the world or something. Hold my hand. I'm going to hold my hand, too. I think we should all kneel down and pray or something. Don't you, Mona? Please, Mona, hold my hand. Or light candles. We could light hundreds of candles. It'd be so pretty, don't you think? No, we won't let him die. His son will carry on in his place. It's not his son. It is. Only just because he's dead. Don't you kill me off, too. It is his. What color is his hair? I don't know, probably blonde. Look, officer, it's, we just want him brought home. Five and dime, it's the only one in town. Highway Patrol sent out a car after him. I'm sure they'll find him on him. Please don't worry. I do worry. I worry all the time. I can't let that boy out of my sight, not for one second. It's not my fault that he turned out that way. All the doctors said so. It just, it was the shock of his dying. It just it jostled my insides and it created a son. Who is a moron? What? You heard what didn't you hear what I said? I said he's a moron. Moron. I have to keep hidden away from everybody because then I'm so ashamed. You know what happens to me? Every time the laugh to look that boy in the face, I just get sick to my stomach. Mona, that's enough. Could have been a famous movie star and had him his pictures in all them magazines just like his daddy's. I bet you, honey, that's, I bet you any amount of money that there was somebody in this town who put him up to this. They're always putting him up to crazy things to make him look foolish so that they can laugh. Nobody laughs. I do, too. They laugh all the time to themselves. You know why they do, don't you? Because they're jealous, that's why. Mona? What? Are they sure the boy is the son? Positive, yes, they are positive. Well, there must be something they can do. I mean, there must be specialists or um, therapy. What, you think that they can cut his sickness away as easily as they did yours? Yours was easy to remedy. For him, there is no cure. His mind will never mature, <laughs> never catch up with the rest of his body. He just, he will be a child forever. Just like you always wanted him to be, right, Mona? Sissy. Leave her alone, Sissy. That's, that's enough. That's not nearly enough. You know, I am just fed up to hear what this shit of yours, Mona. It makes me want to puke. Juanita, and everything is just going to turn out fine. Sugar, God is watching over him. Good old God. And it won't hurt none for us all to join hands and say a little prayer, neither. I don't pray no more. I gave it up for, um, Lint. Or Lint. <laughs> Belly button Lint. <laughs> When was that, sissy? When did you give up praying? Was it when Lester T. walked out? Well, Joe, I don't know what in the hell you're talking about. Sissy, he didn't. No. Look, sister. Or mister, I don't know what it is that you're trying to be right now. Sister. But, well, don't mess with me, because you don't know shit. I know more than you think. Sissy, did he? No, he did not, Stella May. He got himself a job over in Arabia or Lebanon, one of them foreign places, uh, wildcat for a big oil company. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, he has been gone for two years, but he wanted me to come over there, you know? But I... Could you see me with a bunch of foreigners? I mean, please. <laughs> <laughs> you 
But he writes me all the time, sometimes um, twice a week. When's he coming back? When he's goddamn good and ready, Joe. Bastard is making nearly uh, 200 bucks a day over there. Why in the hell should he come back? I said, don't worry about me, Lester T. I will keep. Ah, uh, gee, that's a very believable explanation, sissy. But unfortunately, not accurate. Do you know, Joe, I don't know what you think that you know. I know what he told me. Lester T. told Well, now, Joe, I, excuse me. Anybody in this room, if I am wrong, tell me. But I thought that the last time you spoke with Lester T., your um, overalls was down around your ankles and you was bent over a gravestone someplace. Cute. No, Kansas City. A couple years back. Well, how in the hell could he be in Kansas City when he's over in Ravier? It's Ravier. true. Prove it. Uh, look, Sissy. Let's just say that I know, all right? And leave it at that. Why don't we not say that? Why don't we just not say that? I want to know. I'm sure everybody here wants to know. You want to know, don't you, Stella Mae? You may regret it in the end. Oh, bullshit. I don't think I will, Joe. I ain't afraid of your lies. Okay. It's your funeral. Well, it was just one of those chance meetings, you know, one of those faces from the past that jumped out at you. It's a jarring memory. I was working in this bar. Every night, I get up on my little perch right next to the jukebox and sing the records. Remember like we used to? The record turns and uh, you move your mouth into your phony microphone and pretend you're Edie Gourmet. Then up your arms the moment he comes home to you. I'm warning you. Good, huh? <coughs> well, it's one night. I was, just looked over the crowd from my perch and floating over a cloud of cigarette smoke with this face. I'll never forget that face. You want me to go on? You know, you could just go on and pretend all you want to because you don't know crap from Christmas. We'll see. Well, you sure did give me the once-over as I stood up there mouthing away. His eyes went straight to my boobs. It's like the first time we ever encountered each other. He came over to me. He said, he laughed, my boy. It sounded just like, guess who? Edie Gourmet. He invited me to join him for a drink. Which I did. Bourbon and water. Wasn't it, sissy? Well, that one led to another and another, and finally he began to pour out the woeful tale of the wife that he left behind him. The little woman was... Oh, shut up. He didn't tell you. Well, know what? Hey, finish telling what she has no of. Sissy. I told you not to marry him. He never loved you at all. He did too love me, Mona. He worshipped me. He said that I had the um, biggest pair of melons in the whole goddamn state of Texas. He told you that, didn't he? Joe, he told you that he loved me. He said that it was um, repulsive to him, that it d disgusted him. God, I didn't want anybody to know this. See, what are you 
talking about, girl. Look at me. See? Mona, I, I begged them not to take them, Mona, but they said that they would spread. They would. Sissy. Oh, I'm so sorry. You should have told us before. Well, what do you want me to do? Why don't you just come in here and uh, rip open my blouse and say, look, everybody, no tent. That would be cute, wouldn't it? I was um, scared to death to tell anybody, especially Lester T. He loved them so much. Uh, every night he would um, come home and fall asleep with his head on him. That's silly, isn't it? He was a wonderful lover, though, you know. Every night, two or three times, we'd make love. Then after the operation kind of dwindled down. Of course, I was prepared for that. You know, I used to um, cry all the time because I knew. I knew that um, one day he wouldn't love me no more. And then, of course, that day came and he left. Did you um, sleep with him, Joe? He took me to some cheap hotel room where he was staying. And he begged and pleaded. And I considered it. But I couldn't. I just lay back there and I stared at the cracks in the ceiling like a road map, tracing the route that led me to where I was. And the more miles I traveled, the more hysterical I got. <laughs> so I started laughing, and I, I lost all control of myself. <laughs> I would have given anything to see the um, expression on his face. <laughs> well, what happened then? I stopped laughing. Stopped? Why nailed you stop? I would have um, laughed till I cried. Because he was crying. <laughs> what nail was he crying for? Because I was laughing. <laughs> 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 Feels good to laugh about this, don't I? I ain't laughed this hard in a million years. <laughs> Everybody used to um, laugh at a sissy with the watermelon boobs. For years, I had to um, lug them goddamn things around so everybody could squeeze them and the, feel them. I doubt that they ever gave a rat's ass for me, though. What do you think, Stella? Well, this is not fun, is it? <laughs> hey, everybody out there in McCarthy, Texas, guess what? They're Sissy. rubber. Sissy. Sissy's got rubber tents. Get back in here. I don't care no more, Juanita. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't uh, want your sympathy, Mona. <laughs> well, <laughs> I sure pulled the um, rubber over their eyes, didn't I? <laughs> no, 
a real intentional just retrance. <laughs> I need a drink, don't worry. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Three <Greek rants. laughs> <laughs> You just, you may leave the party at any time. <laughs> so do not feel that you have to remain on our camp. <laughs> I can't leave. Why? Without my car? <laughs> they, they will be returning it and Jimmy Dean, I think, at any time now. It just <laughs> makes me sick to my stomach to think that people can be so cruel. <laughs> You understand me perfectly. All right, he is gone. Run away, flew the coop, read my lips, bitch, he's gone. Please don't, Ben. He couldn't run away. My God, the boy, boy, don't even know what the word run away means. No, no he can't do nothing unless I'm there to help him. You know that, my God. What are you talking? He's helpless. That boy's a child. No, you are. Not him. You know, um, behind them comic books that you think he's always reading is uh, men's magazines. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he ain't looking at a Bugs Bunny or Porky Pig man. He is looking at naked women. <laughs> he don't know nothing about that. The hell of he don't. Trashy magazines. You know, I don't I'll never get his Because hands. I gave him to him. Sissied. Uh, I'm wondering, just offhand, uh, if you think it's possible that you could let go of my wrist for about five seconds. Thank you. You, you are sick, and you are demented, and I have a feeling that you should be locked up. And he is nearly 20 years old. With the mind of a 10 No, Molly, you treat him like that, but he's nearly 20, mind, body, and otherwise. You lie. Constantly I find that you tell nothing but lies. What about all them doctors? Oh, you never took him to one goddamn doctor. Not one. Not one goddamn doctor. He told me so. And he's a liar, too. You're the one who's been lying. The boy does not know the truth. I am his mother, and I know what he is. I don't believe you. I don't believe not one thing that you said. You're just, I know what you're doing this night. That's easy. You're just trying to trick me, that's all. I know that. You're trying to trick me into saying. Into saying what, Mona? That he's not the son of James Dean. How would you know? I was there. We all know. We've all known it and accepted it for years. Everybody except you.
Anna Louise. Right, did I show you that beautiful piece of Rihanna that I managed to retrieve from the destruction? Didn't show that to you? Come on. It's not as easily recognizable as some of those that I have found in the past years. But then I'm thinking, you know, maybe next year when I go, I could have a little, I'll have a little longer time to have this. I could take this longer trip. They all know? Yes, they all know. All these years? Juanita, I'm asking you this question. Sugar, we just didn't see how it was possible. Him being such a big movie star and all. Oh. I am so embarrassed about that. I just, I feel like such a fool. I think I just wanted to be noticed. That's all. Like that time when I was in Giant, and I was chosen, and for the first time in my life, and I was chosen. That's all. I chose you, Mona. I loved you. Hey, wait a minute. You mean it was... <sighs> I mean, you're Jimmy Dean's... <sighs> hey, Joe, you son of a bitch, can I buy you a drink? Hi, I'm here. All right, now you're talking, buddy. <laughs> That storm just passed right on by like we didn't even matter. Probably onto some town don't even need it. So sad. Isn't it sad? I just know I'm gonna start into cry. Come on, gather your crap together. Believing is so funny, isn't it? when what you believe in doesn't even know you exist. Does this really make things different? Not a bit. Hey, we'll need to go and take a swig. God's not looking. Sidney said it did. I tried to protect him. I even lied to God so he'd take him into heaven. Bye, Mona. I hope they find Jimmy Dean for you. I had such a very nice time. Thank you all for liking me and being so nice to me, although I'm not very smart. I think you're a very nice lady, or whatever you are, and I'm very pleased to have met you. That's not it, is it? We're all going to see each other again, won't we? Shall we make a pact? 20 years from tonight. Oh, won't that be exciting to look forward to? I can send us all postcards to remind us. I won't let us lose each other. Mona? Well, next time pick some place cool, for God's sake. We could have it at my house. Well, hell, with all them kids you got running around, there's one of there's room enough for you, let alone us. You know what? You'd give everything you got for one of them kids of hers. You know it. I wouldn't have one in the house. Can't you and Merle have babies? What good are they? Merle says the only way to have a baby is with beans and potato salad at a barbecue. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Sorry for me? Well, who the hell are you to feel sorry for me? Edna Louise Johnson. And who the hell is that? Someone very important to my family and me. 
We maybe don't have a lot of money or belong to a lot of fancy country clubs, but we are happy with each other. Happy? Christ, anybody could be happy. Look at me. I laugh my ass off all the damn time. Hell, I laugh at just about anything. You're not happy. I'm happy, God damn it! You know, I never could stand people who keep saying they're gonna go and then they never do. I wonder what it was that made God turn away from me like that. I just think that um, there's so many people in the world nowadays, it's hard for him to give the personal attention that he used to. I hope you found what you came in looking for. Miss. Well, Joe? Sissy. Look. Deceiving to the eye. That's what he was. But it's time. I got an idea. How about if the McGuire sisters get together for one final number, huh? Terrific. I don't want to do it. I don't even recall them words. Oh, darling, I don't even know where I stand. Come on, sissy, come on over here and show us how again. All right, Joe, come on.